back to my channel. So I'm going to try to make this introduction as short as possible because I don't like having the fan or air conditioner on while I'm filming because I don't want any like background noise and these studio lights basically feel like they're like melting me right now like I feel like I'm baking. <laughs> Long story short, I'm going to be having another fashion DIY here on my channel. I was inspired by a few celebrities to do this DIY. Rihanna, not a shocker, right? Beyonce, along with Zendaya. So it's basically just a dashiki and it has graphic detailing on it, like letters and numbers and stuff like that. It kind of gives you like a jersey-ish vibe to it. I just thought it was so cute and modern and creative. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Stay tuned if you guys want to see how to create it. Alrighty guys, so I just have all my materials set to the side. You're going to need some iron-ons, letters, and numbers. Make sure to read the instructions on the back. Along with some scissors and your dashiki, of course. You can iron this out, but mine wasn't too wrinkled, so I just straightened it with my hands and took off the tag. And now you're going to want to cut out your phrase or your name or anything that you want stated across your dashiki. I was inspired by Beyonce's dashiki, so I chose the word Africa. You can choose whatever you would like. So the instructions for my specific iron-on stated that I needed to place a piece of cloth on top of my iron-ons before placing the iron. So that's what I did. Please, I cannot stress this enough to read the instructions on the back of your iron-ons. They are all different apparently, so make sure you do that so you can avoid any danger or anything like that. And as the instructions stated, I just pressed my iron, which was on medium heat, on top of my iron-ons for about 60 seconds. And then once that's done, you slowly remove the sheet from the iron-ons. And once I removed the sheet, I placed my iron on top of every letter, which is completely safe because think about it, you have to iron your clothes afterwards. Just make sure the sheet is removed. And I placed the iron on top of each letter for about 10 seconds to make sure that it was on and secure. And now I'm just taking my number. Once again, you can choose whichever number your heart desires. I decided to go with the number 10 and I'm following the same instructions as I did for the letters. Do you guys hear that? It's literally been going on for over two minutes. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Now I can record. <laughs> and then I'm just going over the number and the letters once more with my iron. And there you go, guys. You have your dashiki jersey. Alrighty guys, so that's it for the tutorial. I hope you like it. I really, really do like how it turned out. It looks so vibrant and colorful and professional in my opinion. It looks so cute. Like, these iron-ons are legit. Just in case you guys are wondering, I did get the letter iron-ons from Michael's Art Supply Store and the number iron-ons online because they didn't have the size I wanted at Michael's, but they usually should. So definitely check your local art store or anything like that, or you can check online you guys know I'm crazy for Amazon or eBay or something like that so yeah I'll put all the details on how to make it in the description box below super simple super easy I think this is absolutely perfect for the summertime or a beach getaway or any time really it's just so colorful and it's making me excited so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more fashion DIYs let me know what kind of DIYs you want to see in the description box below keep in mind I can sew so like no sew ideas are perfect um, give this video a huge thumbs up so I know you like it also subscribe to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye!